All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is a very exciting film that I was very excited for, um, Wait on Digital. And this is the 2024 horror film, A Quiet Place, Day One, the prequel to the first two Quiet Places. Now here is a plot of this one. When New York City comes under attack from an alien invasion, a woman and other survivors try to find a way to safety. They soon learn that they must remain absolutely silent as the mysterious creatures are drawn to the slightest sound. Now here's the cast. This is one of my favorite franchises in the 21st century. I love the first two films. Of course, the first one being the best, in my opinion. So it was, again, super excited to get to this. But not enough to go to the theater because I have personal opinions about that and this comfort zones of that. So each their own. But the feel of the film was intense as the first, uh, as the first film, but uh, scarier than the first first two films in my opinion the way certain scenes was shot keeping the focus tight up close on the person while following them then some other scenes going back and forth between freehanding shooting on top of the use of the score and lighting choices made you feel so much on the edge what's interesting though is a lot of the film didn't use much score just quietness and noises such as crunching glass and dirt which added to the intense feel even more so than when with the score which is really really good of production and of way of directing film's pacing was quick but steady but giving you breaks here and there definitely a great character arc of the main character very emotional and deep and these other characters, the mostly the side character that she was with, uh, definitely had a good acting uh, chops on him, that despite the getting the hate for him. But his character was actually pretty good. It's just hers was way more deeper and focused on. Something I also really like, other than the great use of smoke and dust clouds instead of a dog, that normally causes problems because of how noisy and aggressive they can be towards threats. They instead had a cat. Uh, the cats use uh, stealth constantly and are made to be that way to sneak up on their prey. There's a reason us cat parents tend to put a bell on them. And I can't tell you how many times I have been scared the shit out of nowhere of that cat jumping on me and you don't even hear it coming. Uh, it was a really cool concept considering the monsters hunt by any sound made. Now here's my rating and I'll come back to my final thoughts. Obviously, I highly recommend this film to you if you are into scary films, of course. Because it, it has plenty of scare factor to it. In my opinion, one of the best films of this year, uh, second in the best in the franchise. Now, the, for obviously, the first one being the, the good one. Um, but yeah, so let me know your comments down below. I Again, I highly recommend it. It was so, so much better than I thought it would be. Uh, I heard it bombed at the box, box office, which I don't know if it's true at this point because... Where I find this stuff out, only place I can find them out is not usually on these uh, Facebook posts, right? Well, uh, most of them tend to be just full of crap and just making up stuff. They click some views, so it's kind of like at this point, it's it's you can't really buy into that to the, what they thought of that stuff and what people are saying or slubs or you know anything like that. It's just all made up at this point for drama and clicks and views. So don't take those seriously at all. Take them with a very grain of salt. Um, but yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.